Ouch. Manufacturing. 3D printing, you guys heard of this one? This is pretty cool because it's gonna be big for your industry. 3D printing, okay, imagine an old laser toner where you just kind of spray down the ink. Now go back over it and over and over and over and over and over until you eventually get a 3D object. That's basically 3D printing. It sprays plastic resin or metal or some other substance until you get an object. Fun things, uh, you only need about half as much material because you, can only, you only have to print what you need. So that top picture, those are two hinges, one of which is 3D printed, the one in the foreground, whereas the back one is a more traditional die cast. You only have to print the structure that you need, so it's about half the weight, uses half the material. Lasts twice as long. Additionally, you can print moving pieces. So you can print a Swiss Army knife in one print run, and it works. Imagine what that does for engine parts. The automotive industry, the machinery industry, the aviation industry. These are revolutionizing them. And for any supply chain, particularly in manufacturing, where there's a small number of customers and a painfully complex supply chain, this collapses it from 18 steps in 12 countries to three steps in one country. And these are available retail. So all those parts that you have to wait to get shipped in from God knows where, or you could just click print. The bottom picture there, the one of the submachine gun, that's a single print job. The reason I put it on there is because of the barrel. Two years ago, you couldn't print that because of pressure concerns. The thing would explode. Not anymore. You can print an engine block. Supply chains that snake around the world that are completely dependent on international, tr international trade, not necessary anymore. Keep it simple, stupid. This is the complete product life cycle of an iPhone. It touches 100 different countries. Or you can print it. Because in the last two weeks, commercial printers have become available that now print in five different materials. Now, at present, it's just a mixture of rubbers, plastics, and resins. But just fast forward that a few months or maybe a couple of years, and you can start seeing printing capacity that uses silicon and copper and gold and steel. And once that happens, every industry that works with those materials is going to look radically different. This is really bad if you're into shipping. <laughs> If the global shipping market goes away for energy and the global shipping market goes away for supply chains and manufacturers and the Americans home locate everything that they need, wow, I would, I would hate to be Dubai Ports World or, or Maersk Shipping right now. Because they're looking at you know, maybe upwards of a 75% decline in the amount of containers that are shuttled around the world. A little closer to home, 